Hi, I'm Greg with BTOD.com and the Breakroom blog. And today we're gonna to be bringing you another stability test, this time for the Verydesk ProDesk 60 electric. Now, if you've had a chance to watch any of my other stability videos, you know that we look at two different motions. The first is a left to right or a wobble motion, and the second motion is a front to back or a rocking motion. Now before we get into the test, the one thing I wanna show you is what the desk is like at a sitting height. So I have the desk set at about 29 inches. I think this gives a good benchmark for what the desk is like when it's at its most solid position when we take it up to a higher intermediate or tall position. So at 29 inches, you can see front to back, very good. Left to right, same thing, very solid. Now. For our first test, we're gonna actually do that left to right, and I found that at about 39 inches, this is where we start to notice the first bit of motion for the wobble test. Now the second part is about 43 inches where I feel this motion starts to become an annoyance. Now you can see, at 43 inches, that, that motion's definitely more pronounced. Now when we take it up to 45 inches, this is where I feel that motion becomes bad enough that it will impact your work. Now, the one thing I'll say, we found out with this particular test that there was really three different things that we looked at that I thought impacted the left to right stability. Um, the first was the plastic inserts that you find in the cross support. So there's an interlocking wedge system, and you'll see when we pull off the cross support, that connects to the actual column itself. Now in between there, there's a plastic part. Now this plastic part is not a solid connection. It's not as solid as if it were metal on metal. And so when the desk is rocking back and forth, that leverage into the plastic is actually affecting how that plastic is working. So it's, it's uh, contracting and expanding as the desk is moving. Now the next thing that we notice is the actual connection of the upper frame to the legs. When we went through our assembly video, if you had a chance to watch that, you'll, you'll notice right away that there was really only two bolts that were connecting each leg to the upper frame support. And so there's nothing working or counteracting those two bolts with the opposite direction in the motion when we do the stability test. Now the third thing is something else that I think you can get a pretty good look at here when we go closer to the columns, the poorly fit glides. Now this isn't consistent through all of the different fitting of the columns. We've noticed that really in two specific areas they don't fit as well as the other two connections. And so with about 50%, you can tell it's really impacting the stability of the desk. Now the second test that we do, the front to back or that rocking test, I found that this motion was um, something that impacted your work a little bit earlier. So at 37 inches, you can see this is where the front to back rocking starts. And now when we take it up to about 42 inches, you can see that motion becomes more of an annoyance at this point. It's probably not gonna impact your work so much, but by about 44 inches, you can see even with one hand, um, that motion's become pretty significant. So what we found here, the reasons for this uh, to be a problem were first the poorly fit glides, much like the left to right or the wobble motion, the poorly fit glides were definitely in play here and as we move the desk front to back, you can actually see that movement in between the columns. Now as the desk gets taller, that's gonna impact the desk even more. Now the second thing that we noticed, and this is something kind of across the board for all standing desks, is overlap in columns. As your desk gets taller, there's less overlap in the columns and then you'll start to see, um, because of that, you'll have more rocking motion specifically that you start to notice. Um, I think with this particular desk being that they're square columns, you actually notice it both directions, so front to back, left to right, um, so wobble and rocking motions. And that completes the stability test for the Verydesk ProDesk 60 Electric. If you'd like more information or the full review, please feel free to visit the Breakroom blog. Thanks for watching.